Jane Alexander, a talented actress, stepped into the spotlight, and not only did she shine, but she also helped others find their glow. With a career spanning several decades, she has been a guiding star in the acting community, earning respect for her powerful performances and leadership. Her journey from stage to screen has inspired many, and her dedication to her craft has earned her critical acclaim and a host of awards. Jane's ability to bring characters to life and touch the hearts of audiences is a testament to her skill and passion for acting. Her story is one of perseverance, talent, and the magic of storytelling. Jane Alexander is a talented actress known for her strong performances on stage, in movies, and on television. She has been acting for many years and has become a familiar face to many fans around the world. Her work has not only entertained, but also touched the lives of those who watch her. Now we're curious to hear from you. Do you have a personal story about how Jane Alexander has inspired you or made a difference in your life? What was the first movie or show you saw that featured Jane? And what's your most treasured memory or experience related to Jane Alexander? Your stories and memories are important to us, and we'd love for you to share them in the comments. Stay tuned because we have many interesting facts about Jane coming up, including some that are funny, some that are surprising, and some that are a bit sad. Keep watching to learn more about this remarkable actress and the journey she has taken us on through her career. Jane Alexander grew up in a family that appreciated the arts, which sparked her interest in acting from a young age. Her mother was an early influence, encouraging her to pursue her passion for performance. As a child, Jane was involved in school plays and local theater productions, which helped her develop her acting skills. She often credits her high school drama teacher for recognizing her talent and guiding her towards a career in acting. This mentor played a significant role in her development, providing her with the support and encouragement needed to follow her dreams of becoming an actress. Jane's early experiences in theater laid the foundation for her successful acting career. Jane Alexander was born on October 28, 1939 in Boston, Massachusetts. She grew up in a family that appreciated the arts, which played a significant role in her early life. Her mother was an author and her father was a surgeon, which provided her with a stable and supportive home environment. As a child, she found joy in acting and participated in school plays which sparked her interest in performing. This passion led her to attend Sarah Lawrence College where she continued to develop her acting skills. Her career began to take shape after college when she moved to New York City and started to get roles in theater. Her talent was clear from the start and she quickly made a name for herself on stage leading to opportunities in film and television. Her early experiences and family support were key in shaping her path to becoming a respected actress. Jane Alexander discovered her love for acting during a school play. As a young girl, she was shy, but the stage gave her a voice. She played a tree in her first role and stood still, yet she felt alive inside. This experience sparked her interest in acting. She loved how she could become someone else and express feelings she normally kept hidden. This moment led her to pursue acting, finding joy in storytelling and connecting with audiences. Her journey began with that simple role, which opened a world where she could be bold and share stories that move people. Jane Alexander stood out in her role as a bookkeeper in All the President's Men, a film notable for its cast of acclaimed actors. Alongside Jane, who was nominated for an Oscar, were Oscar winners Dustin Hoffman, Robert Redford, Jason Robards, Martin Balsam, and F. Murray Abraham. The film itself is recognized for its significance, earning a place in the National Film Registry for its cultural and historical importance. It garnered eight Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture and Best Director for Alan J. Pakula, and won four, including Best Actor in a Supporting Role for Jason Robards and Best Screenplay. This film's recognition and the talent involved highlight the quality of work that Jane Alexander contributed to during her career. Jane Alexander, the actress, faced tough times when she started her career. She didn't have much money, making it hard to pay for acting classes or even day-to-day -day living. The people who make movies and plays didn't believe in her at first. They thought she might not be good enough, but Jane didn't give up. She was strong and kept trying. She found smart ways to keep going, like doing small acting jobs to get better and save some money. Jane's love for acting and her never give up attitude helped her become a successful actress despite these early challenges. Jane Alexander made a striking entry into film with her debut in The Great White Hope, 
earning an Oscar nomination for Best Actress. This recognition was unique as she had already won a Tony Award for the same role on Broadway. In the film Glory, she portrayed Sarah Blake Sturgis Shaw, but unfortunately, most of her scenes did not make it to the final cut. Her talent shone through in All the President's Men, where she delivered an Oscar-nominated performance as a bookkeeper in a brief but memorable appearance lasting just over five minutes. Jane Alexander made a significant mark in acting with her role in the play The Great White Hope, which earned her a Tony Award nomination. This performance led to her film debut in the same role, garnering an Academy Award nomination. Her portrayal in All the President's Men was another critical success. She continued to receive praise for her work in both film and theater, securing multiple award nominations. Her peers, critics, and collaborators have noted her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters, making her a respected figure in the acting community. Her work has influenced many, and she is seen as a guiding light for new actors. Jane's dedication to her craft has left a lasting impression on the industry. Jane Alexander took the stage as the commencement speaker for Bennington College's graduating class of 1997, sharing her experiences and insights. Two years later, she was honored with an honorary degree from Smith College in Northampton, Massachusetts, recognizing her achievements. In the film Glory, she portrayed Sarah Blake Sturgis Shaw, a role that was initially meant to be more prominent, as suggested by her featured name in early promotional materials. Jane Alexander, the actress, approaches her roles with a deep understanding of the character's background, which allows her to bring a truthful and honest portrayal to the screen or stage. She dives into the character's history, their relationships, and their motivations. This thorough preparation helps her to become the character and give a performance that feels real to the audience. Her own life experiences, like any artist, shape how she sees the world, and this perspective comes through in her acting. She connects with her characters on a personal level, which adds depth to her performances. Jane's unique style lies in her ability to make each character she plays feel like a real person with a rich inner life, not just a fictional creation. Jane Alexander portrayed Margaret Phelps in the film Kramer vs. Kramer, sharing the screen with Dustin Hoffman for the second time, their first being in All the President's Men. In Kramer vs. Kramer, she worked alongside a talented cast, including Oscar winners Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep, as well as fellow nominees Justin Henry and Jobeth Williams. Her performance and career were recognized in 1988 when she received the Living Legacy Award from the Women's International Center. Jane Alexander has been a significant figure in acting, known for her strong performances and ability to bring characters to life. She has influenced the industry by choosing roles that highlight important issues and by working with a range of directors and actors which has helped spread new acting methods and storytelling styles. Her work has encouraged others to explore similar paths and many in the industry look up to her as a guide and a source of inspiration. Her peers respect her dedication to her craft and her ability to consistently deliver powerful performances. Jane's career serves as an example for upcoming actors, showing them the importance of commitment and the impact of taking on challenging roles that can move audiences and start conversations. Jane Alexander's talent shone brightly in 1969 when she won a Tony Award for her role in The Great White Hope. Her performance was so powerful that she was nominated for an Oscar when the play was turned into a movie. Over the years, she continued to earn praise and recognition, receiving six more Tony nominations for her roles in various plays. In 1999, she shared her experiences and insights as the speaker at Smith College's graduation. Her acting skills also brought her to the film All the President's Men, where she worked alongside Jason Robards. This film started a chain of connections with other acclaimed actors like Meryl Streep, Robert Redford, Dustin Hoffman, and Tom Hanks, all of whom have portrayed significant roles in films that touched on the Watergate scandal. Jane Alexander's career is a testament to her skill and dedication to her craft. Jane Alexander, the actress, has a life full of activities that show who she is beyond her acting. She cares deeply about the environment and works hard to protect it. She also helps with education for young people and supports the arts. Jane gives her time and money to these causes because she believes in making the world better. 
Her work in movies and plays often touches on these themes, showing her commitment to these important issues. Jane's actions in her personal life are a clear sign of her dedication to her beliefs and the things she cares about. Jane Alexander took on a significant role beyond her acting career when President Bill Clinton appointed her to lead the National Endowment for the Arts in 1993. Her artistic journey continued on screen as she portrayed Nurse Edna in The Cider House Rules, sharing the set with esteemed actors like Michael Caine and Charlize Theron. In 1996, she shared her experiences and insights as the commencement speaker at Duke University, guiding and inspiring the graduating class. Jane Alexander has had a significant career in acting, with roles that have touched many people. She has shown dedication and skill in her work. Looking ahead, she aims to keep working on projects that have meaning and can teach important lessons. Her advice for those starting in acting is to stay true to themselves, work hard, and always keep learning. She stresses the importance of patience and resilience as the path to success can be full of challenges. By sharing her experiences, she hopes to inspire and guide new actors on their journey. Jane Alexander's talent shone through when she played Sarah Delano Roosevelt in Warm Springs, winning an Emmy Award nearly three decades after her portrayal of Eleanor Roosevelt earned her Emmy nominations. Her role as Dorothy in The New Centurions is another highlight, with only two other cast members sharing the honor of Oscar nominations. Her filmography includes three Best Picture nominees, with Kramer vs. Kramer taking home the award. Her performances contribute to films that have been recognized for their storytelling excellence. Jane Alexander's career in acting shows a strong love for the craft and a drive to bring new ideas to the stage and screen. She has taken on many roles, showing her ability to adapt and her dedication to acting. Her work has left a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. Her journey reminds us that with creativity and the will to keep going, one can inspire change and leave a lasting story for others to follow. Jane Alexander, an actress with a career spanning several decades, is the mother of director Jace Alexander. Her family ties extend to the entertainment industry through her son's marriage to actress Maddie Corman. This connection highlights a family deeply rooted in the arts, sharing a passion for storytelling and performance. Jane's role as a mother and mother-in-law intertwines with her professional life, showcasing a personal side to her public persona. Jane Alexander, an actress known for her work on stage and screen, faced a personal tragedy when her stepson, Jace Alexander, was arrested in 2015. He faced charges related to the possession and file sharing of illegal content. This event brought unexpected hardship to Jane, who had built a reputation for her strong performances and advocacy for the arts. Despite this, she continued her work, showing resilience and dedication to her craft and causes. This incident stands out as a stark contrast to her professional achievements and her commitment to social issues. Jane Alexander has graced the screen with her acting skills for many years. We invite you to share your favorite moments and roles of Jane's career in the comments. Your thoughts help us remember the great shows and movies she's been a part of. If you enjoy discussions on actors who have shaped our viewing experience like this video, share it with friends and subscribe for more content. Your support helps us bring more such stories to you. Thank you for watching and being part of our community.